the guys were playing and the, the ceiling was dripping with sweat and dropping onto the records and making the records skip. So we had to go upstairs and grab two umbrellas and pretty much hold the umbrellas above the, uh, the turntables. So the Mercat, it's been around since the early 90s. We took it over after it had been closed for a few years. We decided to come in and give it a crack. We were about 21 at the time. It was kind of had this intimate feel and everyone was sweaty, there was smell and everything was really dark. And just everything about it was fucking amazing. With the gentrification of any city, late night club culture is going to be affected. The land that we're on got sold and it's going to be redeveloped as part of the Victoria Market's redevelopment. A lot of people have said, are you going to open a new club? You know, what are you thinking next? And the fact is, we can't open a new club. And there's a bunch of reasons behind that. Why the latest licence you can get at the moment is 1am, and then after a couple of years you might get a 3am. If we had a club that closed at 1am, we wouldn't exist at all. There's so many nights where people don't even turn up to 1am. <laughs> It's going to be hard for anyone to replicate anything like this in the future. You might have someone buy an old club that hasn't been used for a while and renovate it and that's great and I think that needs to happen but if I find a warehouse spot or I find a basement that I think is great, I can't go and get a licence for it. We've, we've had a look at other clubs that, you know, potentially for sale and there's nothing that we see would do justice to what we have here.